Genshin Impact's first major patch, that is version 1.1, is finally released. And as happy as I am with their additional content, there has been one tiny problem that bugged me for two days straight. Well, not counting the fact that a third typhoon just approached our country and devastated a lot of places. And that one tiny problem is that every time the update file is finished downloading, the launcher somewhat failed to verify the update file, prompting it to re-download everything from the start. Now, uh, this is usually not a problem to me. Older PC games have a way to manually patch game files on your system, and the patch itself was small, ranging from half to a full gigabyte. But Genshin Impact? Well, it doesn't mess around with its 12 gigabyte patch file, certainly leaving an impact to both my PC and my bandwidth. The problem arises when you add the fact that my maximum download speed at any given time is only 1.5 megabytes per second. And it's not even the stable speed as it can go even lower to 0.10 Mbps which can ruin anyone's day. It usually takes me about 4 hours or so downloading the whole patch, when the conditions are favorable anyways. So what causes the update verification failure and how can you fix it? Well, I went through the forums and there I found a solution. Turns out there's a file in the launcher program folder that affects the verification process. And this tiny file, named config.ini, is more than enough to invalidate your whole patch download, dropping you on a downward spiral of re-downloading the entire file again. to fix this? Well of course, first you must find the file in question. If you install the file in the default location, it will be pretty easy to find. For the ones who installed it in the default address, well its location is written right around here. Well, I'm leaving it to you to search it now, so go ahead. Then open the file in notepad and check if the following lines of code are in there. Well, it's certainly unbelievable that these five lines of code is your actual bridge to the game. And without it, well, you're screwed. And finally, if one or more line is missing, or the whole file is just different in general, make a new config.ini file and replace that other one. Well, trust me, this one will work. Well, after all, it worked on me and maybe it will work on you too. Mega shout out to the one who found the solution. This really helped me a lot and I hope will help a lot of people in the future. Well, unless Mihoyo fix it anyway, so whatever. And that's the end of this video. Man, I think I just did a quick tutorial video using my new mic. Wow! This feels actually good. Celebrations aside, uh, likes, dislikes, and comments are always down below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please have a subscribe. It really helps this channel a lot. And with all that said, uh, happy playing with Genshin Impact, guys.